Before we do that, as I said, to try to catch up to 18 years of not recognizing the superstar students that are going to build our alumni, we decided we would do some, what we hope, are very special things. Number one, we created crystal <coughs> trophies that have what was the basis of our triangle, circle, and square when you look at a silhouette, at a flat, but our logo, our image. It actually came from a story I told my father about Archimedes. The people from NASA, Dave and his students, have made a beautiful video that explains how you go from a cylinder, a sphere, and a cone to become our logo. I won't explain it now because their video does it beautifully. Hopefully it'll be up on YouTube soon. It'll be on this screen. But we took that symbol, we took that symbol and our logo, and since my father designed that logo for us, and he was with us for the first 17 years of first, we put one of his self-portraits in that piece of glass, and this award will always be sponsored by the Cayman family. And those crystal trophies hopefully will show you a serious and beautiful commitment. We also have, even though it's such a new award, as soon as word got out that FIRST is helping to identify its superstars among its superstars, the presidents of two of the universities that have been with us for a long time decided they want to participate with support. So Susan Hockfield, the president of Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and And Dennis Berkey, the president of the Worcester Polytechnic Institute, double PI, have sent on 92 individually signed uh, letters. I think they are not only trying to congratulate you, they're out recruiting. But you'll get those letters this afternoon. We also found some new sponsors because I think it's essential that first get its message out about how cool science and technology are. And it's pretty hard to think of a better way to get to this generation than with cool video and cool audio and cool rap. So you're going to see, and I won't do it because I can't do that stuff justice. We're going to have Blair come out and uh, show you some of the really, really cool stuff we have from some new sponsors, and I'm going to tell you a little bit more about some special things they have done, and I hope they'll do as they become long-term supporters of FIRST in general and the FIRST Dean's List in particular. So, maybe it's time to ask Blair to come out and tell us about some of the fun, cool stuff All right. that you're going to get. Thank you, Dean. I am ready. Listen up and listen sharp because there are some slick gifts coming your way. Everyone, all 92 chosen as a Dean's List finalist, will receive an awesome flip camera from Cisco, a great LED flashlight from Cree, these amazing, super cool headphones, the Dr. Dre headphones from Monster that I'm wearing. Yeah. This gets better. Just keep waiting. It's all good. We have the only copies in the United States of Autodesk's latest full-blown version of AutoCAD 2011. There are 100 copies, and they are here in the dome. You'll receive one of those. A backpack from J.C. Penney, a huge sponsor, stuffed with apparel from Nike, Adidas, RS, Rusty, and Vans. I hope you bought a trailer. And a very generous gift certificate to J.C. Penney. Okay, and for the 10 students, if that's not enough, on the inaugural Dean's List, you will also receive an IBM computer and accessories. An Amazon Kindle. And a live scribe pen. Let's give it up for all of that swag. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sponsors. Here are the details. All of this great stuff will be in room C103. You might want to write that down. In the GWCC from 2 to 5. Today, after the ceremony, G, uh, sorry, C103, 
Okay? And you'll probably need some identification. <laughs> and we want all 92 finalists to stick around afterwards because the CEO of Monster is here. He will personally give you these headphones and we want to take photos that you can distribute to your newspapers and spread the word about first. We'd like all 92 of you to meet right over here by the DJ booth after the ceremony. Sound good? All right, then. It's all good. Back to you. So now... Just before we hear who the 10 Dean's List students for 2010 actually are going to be, you get one more thing nobody mentioned. You got to decide whether this is the biggest, the best, and the coolest, or the O, oh, you know what. <laughs> Give you a heads up. This morning, a few more people had to come down from Manchester, from DECA, and they said to me, they just got here, they were a little late because they had to de-ice the planes. It is now snowing in New Hampshire. So, having said that, what the 10 of you students that are this year's Dean's List are gonna also get, because we wanna make sure we start this right and that we build the strongest alumni of the best organization of this generation. And we know that's what Dean's List is for. We want all 500 of you nominees and everybody else to help us grow this organization, whether you're going off to college, whether you're going to some company. But to make sure we do this right, one of the things the 10 names you're gonna hear are gonna get is an all expense paid trip to Manchester. <laughs> but we're gonna do it in the summertime. <laughs> Soon, you're gonna get to spend some time at DECA with my 300 engineers. You're going to get to spend some time across the street at the headquarters of FIRST so we all can make sure we really do understand all the programs and all we expect and we get this program started right. So we'll work out all the details of that uh, with you soon. And as Blair said, I see that uh, the head monster is sitting here. Uh, a lot of our other sponsors that are giving you all this cool stuff are here. And uh, I know that... Uh, he was there at opening game of the Red Sox and he personally handed out all those things. Let the, those superstars get their pictures. He's gonna do the same thing with all our winners in a few minutes. The last thing I wanna say before we find out who those 10 students are is I read some of the essays and as far as I'm concerned, they're all winners. That's an understatement, but yeah! Woo! So being the coward that I am, the coward that I am, I asked Vince and Cece and some of our other judges to figure out how to separate them and select a few great examples. But since my mother taught school most of her life, was a principal of a high school for a while and is still my teacher, and since, as you all know, for 18 years, she's been the honorary grandmother that's watching everything you do. So you better be graciously professional as this all happens. The chief judge for the Dean's List event, my mother, is here to help recognize all of that. So now, Blair, let's hear who they are, and when you hear your name, if you're here, come on up to the stage. Okay, the moment you've all been waiting for. Congratulations go. On the 2010 First Dean's List from the New York City Regional, Team 694, Seth Bird, come on up. From the Hawaiian Regional, Team 2437, Caitlin Mori, come on up. From the Peachtree Regional, Team 1002, Kyle Fender. From the BAE Regional, Team 3132, Sarah Heimlich. From Michigan, Team 548, Beth Hadley. From the Washington, D.C. Regional, Team 1712, Delia Vuch. 
And from the Pittsburgh Regional Team, 26-14. <laughs> from the Waterloo Regional. Those are our 2010 first team buckle award winners. Give a shout. Congratulations to all the finalists. Come on down to your program if you take it. Thanks for attending this afternoon. You are what makes first great. As they say, it's a wrap. Boom. Oh,